The rational function f is defined by an equation in the form f of x equals a over x plus b, where a and b are constants. The partial graph of y equals f of x is shown. If g of x equals f of x plus 4, which equation could define g? So we're given that the equation of f of x is of the form a over x plus b. So let's find the values of a and b. We can do that by choosing two points on the graph of f of x. So let's choose these two points here, which are negative 7, negative 2, and negative 6, negative 3. So at negative 7, negative 2, f of x is equal to negative 2. Then we have the a over the x value, which is negative 7 plus b. So that's one equation. And our next equation is f of x. So f of x equals negative 3, which is equal to a over negative 6 plus b. So we just took this equation up here and plugged in these two points. So now we have two equations and two unknowns. So we can solve for the values of a and b. OK, so from this first equation, Let's multiply both sides by this denominator. So negative 2 times negative 7 is 14. Negative 2 times b is negative 2b, which is just going to be equal to a. Then for this equation, let's also div multiply both sides by the denominator. So negative 3 times negative 6 is equal to 18. Negative 3 times b is equal to negative 3b, and this will be equal to a. So now we have two equations for a. So when we set a equal to a, we can solve for the value of b. So here a equals 14 minus 2b, but it also equals 18 minus 3b. So let's move this negative 3b to the other side by adding it to both sides. So we'll get 14 plus b is equal to 18. Then let's move the 14 over here. So b equals 4, because 18 minus 14 equals 4. So now we have the value of b. So let's plug that into, let's say, let's this equation to get the value of a. So negative 2 is equal to a over negative 7 plus 4, since the value of b is 4. So negative 7 plus 4 is just equal to negative 3. So let's multiply both sides by negative 3 to remove this negative 3 from the denominator. So we'll just get that a is equal to 6. So now we have the values of a and the value of b. So our f of x equation is just going to look like a, which is 6, over x plus b, which is 4. So this is the value of our f of x equation. But the question asked us for g of x. But we know that g of x is equal to f of x plus 4. So what we really need to do is replace x with x plus 4. So when we do that, we get that g of x is equal to 6 over x, but this time x is going to be x plus 4 instead. So we're going to have x plus 4 plus 4, which is just equal to 6 over x plus 8. So the equation for g of x is x6 over x plus 8, which is answer choice C.